639, 15 degrees out. Operation Husky. Not a lot of people know about it, and that's exactly the point. It was uh, It's a much overlooked World War II campaign. It hurts a little, according to uh, one bombardier. Uh, the fact that Second World War service is ignored. Uh, he is uh, Charles Hunters from the 39th Regiment of Royal Artillery. He was one of 25,000 Canadian soldiers who invaded Sicily in 1943 as part of the Allied Operation Husky. It was the first independent role for Canadian soldiers in World War II, and Canada's strategic contribution helped open Italy to the Allies and turn the tide of the war. Joining us on the line is Steve Gregory of Operation Husky. Good morning. How are you, Steve? Very well, thanks. How are you? Seventy years later, how are you? Oh, it is marvelous. A really great experience to be here and, and finally see that these men get some formal recognition. Why, why haven't they? Let me ask you that question. Yeah, you know, I think it was just a confluence of events. Uh, at the time, we were advancing on other fronts. Uh, you know, only 11 months later, we were landing on the, the shores of France. And this part of the world just seemed to get forgotten. Uh, and then after, I think two things happened. The, the Americans, who didn't particularly like the English, they took credit for most of what was happening and, right. and pushed us into the English camp. And the English were happy to, uh, to say that we were English and uh, absorb us into their history. So we sort of fell through the cracks. Yeah, so it's important to be distinguished. I mean, you're there in Sicily now. I mean, tell me how, how that makes you feel. It, it, it really is. Uh, it, we're, we're seeing the mission accomplished. We're seeing it manifest. There's, we've had 15 uh, large ceremonies now. Uh, you can imagine in each of these towns, they're, they're rolling out the red carpet for us, kids on balconies waving flags, church bells ringing, um, old, you know, old Italian soldiers coming out. And uh, they're very, very eager to participate in our remembrance ceremonies. Uh, so it's been it's been a very emotional experience to tell you the truth. All of us who are marching are are uh, brought to tears near daily. It, it, I mean, this this has become a, a personal mission for you know a number of people. I know uh, obviously yourself to make sure that the the veterans of of this campaign are recognized. Uh, yes. Tell 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 me tell me what 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 drives you. I mean, what you know, why this is is important and why Canadians need to, to, to know and recognize this? Well, I just feel in the core of my being that this is, it's wrong that we as a country would let the contribution of these men just go unrecognized. It's, it's totally wrong. This part of our history has been absorbed by other countries, the Americans and the British. Even in Sicily, we are, are, are uh, frequently called Americani. And we are eager to point out the difference. And so I think this is, it's, it's of national importance. You know, why weren't we there at the time? Why didn't we stand up at the time and take our rightful place in history? Mm. Uh, for the, for the, the honor of, of the, the souls of these men, it's just not right. And, and uh, I think that's the driving force for all of us, is to see that, that these men get, get more recognition uh, the, the, certainly the recognition that they deserve. It, it, I mean, when you, when you think about it, just and, and, and you, obviously you're in a better position than me in t, uh, to, to, to determine just how challenging what, what, what you know this campaign was. And they, had, they, they stormed the beaches, but then they had to climb a 900-meter cliff, which, as I yeah. understand, the Germans had pretty much left undefended because they just thought there's no way anybody's getting up here. And yet well, we did it. I can tell you. Uh, I can tell you, the day before yesterday, we had a 31-kilometer march, uh, and we went up and down. Uh, we, we climbed 900 meters in, in that 31 kilometers, and wow. some of it was ex- very steep. It was 42 degrees at 8.30 in the morning. So you, wow. I can tell you that, it, and we didn't have it that bad. We were walking on pavement. Uh, on a few occasions, we walked across the fields, and I'll tell you, the the shear factor on your feet would give you blisters in no time at all. Um, 
And, and you know, we've been most of us have been training for a number of months. Uh, those soldiers were in England, and while they were well trained, they certainly weren't prepared for 40 and 45 degree temperatures with steel helmets and weapons. Can you imagine? Some of them were carrying 35 pound Bren guns. Uh, you know, so so to put in an 18 kilometer uh, march in that kind of heat is just in, in, insane. 25,000 Canadians. We, we certainly have, yeah. I was just going to say 25,000 know, Canadians fought in that campaign. It, they did, but the, the Italians, I'm eager to point out to the Italians that are list, the Sicilians here that are listening to us, mm-hmm. that 100,000 Canadian soldiers fought in Italy. 6,000, near 6,000 died, more per capita than any other Allied army. Mm. And my mother-in-law, who is, is Italian, she thought it was the Americans that, that liberated her town. In fact, it wasn't. They were, they were Canadese, Canadians. And so I'm very eager to point out to our Italian and Sicilian uh, friends that, you know what, they weren't alone. There were seven divisions that landed, three were English, three were American, and one was Canadian. And the one that was Canadian, nothing was expected of us, but we took on the Hermann Goering Division, the best of the German troops, yeah. in the most difficult battles, and we punched way above our weight. And that deserves some recognition. Steve, indeed it does. And thank you for drawing attention to the Canadese. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Good sure. to talk to you. That was Steve Gregory of Operation Husky. We were talking to him. He is in Sicily.